Well, I'm up the tower again, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure you know that I am not within his range. I want to make sure you know I'm out of range. <laughs> Snake didn't do anything that turn. No, he didn't. Dang it. He's gonna miss again. Again? This is the first just, miss. This is. <laughs> I mean, it is in general with all the misses I've been having. Uh, hey, he already has hurt uh, me to my soul. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How sad. Mm -hmm. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's Cricker's turn. And he is going to take an attack at. Archer again with uh, two handed attack. It's a bonus action, I guess. So he's gonna do one handed with the hand axe, and that's gonna hit. That's gonna do three damage, and then he's gonna use healing word to heal himself. Five, maybe four. Hold up, actually, hold up, give me thirty seconds to do this roll because I can't find it. Found it. That's four plus. I think it's actually four minus one. Yep. Three. And then it is... Wildo's turn. Okay, so... So, uh, Krikar has managed to heal himself, right? Yeah. Alright. Um, then I am going to uh, jump down from the tower and do a fancy little roll with my uh, feather falling or whatever it's called. And then... Is this guy on the tower or is he climbing the tower? The red guy? Yeah, sorry, the red guy by Skunky. Yeah, he is on the tower. He's on the tower. Facing me. Yes, facing you. But is there room on the tower for more than one person? I would there's say two no. two people now, so. Yeah, okay. So <laughs> well, there's, like, there's enough room for two people, but I think that's pushing it. A that's bit. pretty good. Okay. Then in that case, uh, I'm going to have to go help good Peter. Because uh, this guy is facing towards Peter. Mm-hmm. All right, so I will go up behind the uh, Dragonborn, and then I will attack. Okay, roll the hit. That is a nine. That misses. Oh, but it should be with advantage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which is a thirteen. Misses. Yay! <laughs> then I will use my key point. No. And then, so I will do with a flurry of blows. Okay, roll the head. Can't see that. That's a 27. That's a natural 20 again. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so my two dice rolls are a 7 and an 8. So plus 5. So that's 15 plus 5 plus 5. So that's 25 damage. <coughs> I hate this game. <laughs> Um, and then I got my second flurry of blow. Oh, I forgot about that one. Which we might just want to forget about and just move on to What'd the next get? person. What'd you I get? I got a natural one. Okay. Um, I am so sad right now because I'm glad Peter. I probably could probably just break, oh, wait, break hold my on, staff over the back on. of his head. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, no. Yep. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> With that, you missed, and thank gosh, uh, Peter's not late because with such like a the the, hit, the strength behind the hit, you hit the <laughs> door and uh, the lock on the door, and you see it, you see it smash open, and the door slowly swing open as this large creature is now looking dead at you, dude. Well, but but I think the the, the what's his face is more in the in the way the. <laughs> I, I'm sure the dragon board has not treated this uh, ravager very really well. <laughs> and, uh, he may actually be um, <laughs> more inclined to uh, uh, to help <laughs> than to hinder. Wow. Or it might be very well trained. <laughs> do you have anything I'm else to do? I'm just throwing it out there. Do you have anything else to do for your turn, old love? What's that? <laughs> Anything else for your turn? I think I'm. I think I've used everything I can use. All right, Wildov, you're up. What you're doing? That was Wildov. That was me. So I'm going to use a flurry of blows. <laughs> sorry, this is now only like 45 minutes longer than we nor I normally get for. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Dang it. Um. So, Morden, you are... You, 
you are not resistant to sleeping spells, but the other two are. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. So, what we're going to do is... Let me see how far this is. I'm here and here. Okay, so I'm going to cast... Um, a sleeping spell yeah. again. I forgot Car. about that. I didn't have to worry about getting in the range of that spell. Alright, so it's going to go to here. So, let me draw the circle again. So it's going to go from the top of the top of the ch uh, chest. And I'm also going to do... I'm going to use my last second level spell slot to do a second oh, no. level sleep. And roll... 878, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oof. 28. Oh, I just realized something. You knocked this guy out. Wait. Right, the first two points, I have to say. <sighs> Is it really, though? I think it's kind of outside that range. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> uh, what are you at right now for hit points? No, he's talking about the snake. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> no, I'm fine for hit points. It can't hurt me. Okay. I know, just don't check it. Yeah, yeah. Sure. No, yeah. poor little yeah. snakey. The <laughs> snake is I forgot about the snake. Thank you for trusting me on that one. <laughs> okay. Too much honesty. <laughs> Alright, so... Of... So the, dra the dragonborn the is, a, is the dragonborn asleep? No. No, Dragonborn or the Ravenger are not asleep. Aww. Um, this guy's asleep. Fell off the tower and is gonna take a D6 of fall damage. Sweet. Let's see. All right. I needed him to be hurt so I can use my Colossus. And <laughs> as a bonus action, I'm going to drink another. Drink one of my healing spell, healing potions. All right. Uh, what is that? Two inventory. Healing potions. Uh, 2d4 plus 2. Yeah. So here's my 2d4. It's out of the way. Uh, that's 7, 8, 9. So heal 9. And quantity 0 on that one. And that's going to be my turn. Alright. And then it's this guy's turn. He's going to taste the bad cage. And he is going to tusk attack on. Um, well, I'm up the tower again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to make sure you know that I am not within his range. I want to make sure you know I'm out of range. I might just need to dice again. That's always worked well for me. Uh, what's your AC? Eighteen. Of? That. I'm so mad. I'm not using this dice. <laughs> um, <laughs> That misses, because of course it does. So here's here's the question. It's already too late, so I'm not going to argue it. But because I was doing the flurry of blows with advantage, should I have re-rolled that natural one? I, I, it, it doesn't really matter. We're too far from it, because I didn't think about it. But I'm just, for yeah, future reference. Um, normally, you would still have the double roll. Oh. So you'd still roll twice and take the higher number. Right, I got to remember that for next time. Yeah, uh, it's a little, I forgot about that too. I would have reminded you if I had remembered. Yeah, no, um, it's, it's okay. It's uh, it is what it is, and this is this is uh, we're gonna have to deal with this guy anyways. So I don't want to turn him around. He's still alive. He could be I dead. Can't. No, no, he can't. He's just prone yeah. and asleep. <laughs> yeah, he should be tilted. Tap. He should. He should just be <laughs> tapped to there. Yeah, I was having technical difficulties with him, and then. It is Ravager's turn, so it's Morden's turn. I'm going to shoot this guy who is now asleep on the ground in front of me. Because I right. don't like him. He is mean. That is a 25. That hits, rare damage. Damage. Oh, really? Only 5. But um, since he has taken damage, and he's so much bigger than I am, I'll get my Colossus Slayer, which is an extra D8. He'll take an extra five from that. So that's ten damage? Yeah. Alright, he's looking really hurt. And he's awake. And he's awake. Well, he did but fall. Still. <laughs> but still on the ground, yes. 
Um, um and let's see. Okay. Uh, no, no, I'm fine where I'm. I'm out of Ravager's rate. I'm good to go. All right, and it's Boss's turn, and he is going to uh, turn around and take a swing at you. Wold off. Wold off. Thank you. Sorry, my brain stopped working, and he is going. I think yes. Two weapon fighting. He does. He's going to use both the short swords on you. Okay, I'm not happy with this at all. <laughs> Was and there a I, natural one involved in that? Yeah, both both miss because of course they did. Uh, although got not one, and he's gonna do a check on the ravager. Two plus one is that much. So he's now this. So now, if the now if he's the last person to attack the ravager, one would assume the ravager is quite great with him. Oh, Such a politician. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to give us a little bit of an advantage here. Oh, you guys, of course, because you guys need the advantage right now with you know the entire field you, of you, dead You corpses. came into this telling us you wanted to kill us, so of course we're <laughs> going to try our best. Yeah, and you have already killed almost everyone. <laughs> or need I point back to the you know pile of bodies you caused? This is quite the. Quite the pile. It's actually larger than my pile, so mm -hmm. it's it, it was a very good pile. But I, I I can't take credit for all of them. There was quite a bit of damage uh, placed on most of them before I got to them. So yeah, you just kind of poked them and they fell. <laughs> yeah, I just, I just went around and went like I just poked them in the eye with my and the staff. you get a poke and you get a poke and <laughs> you get a poke. <laughs> uh, okay, and if you guys are okay with this, we will end session here. <gasps> It's probably a good opportunity to do it because we're not going to get through another round, and I assume uh, the Dragonborn at least has got more than a few hit points left. Probably. He has quite a few hit points left. 